and of course Clemson it reigns uh, in college football right now with a thrilling win over uh, Alabama in the national championship game. Uh, Deshaun Watson, of course, moving on along with a, a wealth of wide receiver talent, as typically is the case in defensive line talent uh, at Clemson. Uh, but it's going to be another stellar class. No, maybe it's not in the top five in the nation, but it's it's not not too far behind. So, so Cody, uh, your thoughts about Clemson's class at this point? It's, it's actually, it's a really efficient class. It's a good class. Um, only 13 total uh, recruits at this point, maybe 14 at the most. Not a lot, not a lot of late drama going on, but the, the per star or the average star rating of the class uh, nets out to the, the third overall uh, uh, just behind Alabama and uh, Ohio state. So a lot of talent uh, in those 13 recruits. Um, it, and it's when you get to a class that's this small, you have to address needs. And I think Clemson's done that uh, at the quarterback position with, uh, like you said, Deshaun Watson's departure. Um, they have Hunter Johnson, a five star, uh, I guess, widely considered the best quarterback in the nation. And uh, he, he's already on campus. So he is, he's going to contend for that open uh, open starting position. And then you mentioned uh, the, the wide receivers. So we, we did lose Mike Williams and we're losing Artavis Scott to the NFL. Uh, but we're plugging in a five star T Higgins, who it, in uh, you know in the wide receiver, we call it wide receiver. You at Clemson, um, I think, with guys like Sammy Watkins, Duke Hopkins, I think T Higgins kind of falls in that same mold in terms of just raw talent. So, um, not a not a large class again, but a but a good class and, and fits a lot of needs. Yeah, and you put it into context. What's uh, knocking this uh, rating down as uh, 14th in the country right now, according to 24/7 Sports? It's only 13 commits, but the quality is outrageous uh, one of the few programs in the country that looks to be bringing in multiple five-star recruits and eight of the 13 or four stars uh, that defensive front is ridiculous and has been for the last three or four years and probably gets understated in in the shadow of the wide receiver play and the quarterback play over the last few years but all you have to do is watch the nfl combine and see how many guys line up at uh, d tackle and d end in particular from clemson over the last few years uh, how uh, and, and I know that you lost eight or nine starters from the, the previous team in 2015 and still won the national championship. Uh, how does the defensive side look as well? Yeah, it's so the defensive line, luckily, you mentioned, you, you alluded to it. Um, we had a lot of success in the in the Fiesta Bowl against Ohio State. Our defensive line was uh, definitely a strong point. Uh, most of those guys are returning. So uh, we only had one defensive lineman, one uh, defensive end, Jordan Williams out of Virginia who uh, has a chance to hit the two deep, um, a, a, a really talented player. But uh, overall, I think in terms of the recruiting class, the, the kind of the area of need was in the secondary. We were losing Tankersley at cornerback and Jadar Johnson at safety. So uh, we're going to slide in a guy named A.J. Terrell. He's uh, one of the three five stars, the other, the other five star in this class, um, just a, a heck of an athlete, um, has track speed, like 4'3", four, 4'4", four, four type speed. Um, six two, one of those rangy uh, cornerbacks that the NFL loves so much. So we're gonna we're gonna fit him in. We we suspect he'll be able to hit the two deep and um, ho- hopefully uh, hopefully add some punch to uh, an area of need for the the 2017 squad. Dabo Sweeney has not only gone outside the box, he's basically uh, taken the box and torn it up and thrown it away in terms of the approach. Uh, of college football coaching and building a community of family there at Clemson. It's pretty impressive to watch, and he shows that uh, you can uh, gain and build relationships with these players and still uh, win at the highest level. And uh, the teams that and programs that he has left in his path, not just this season but over the last few years, you're looking at a string of national champions and elite programs there at Clemson. So. Cody Fowler joining us from the uh, Clemson podcast. Uh, join his podcast right there. It's ClemsonPodcast.com as well. Cody, we appreciate you jumping on, and hopefully we can have you back extremely soon, meaning maybe next week if you get the time next Wednesday night and uh, wrap up this uh, stellar class for the Tigers. Sounds good. Thank you, Mark.